tour to the see some wildlife. see some dolphins. We've just seen one come out of the water. Is he going to come up again? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Mangrove swamps here, there's a little little path cut through. And rather nice, there doesn't seem to be any insect life. Normally when you come into these places you get bitten alive. But here it seems not. So these aerial roots which you get in these trees. A giant spider with an egg case attached to it. Yes, there is. There's another one further, about half a foot off the water. These dug out canoes where we're just tying up. With these homemade paddle everything. They only last about five <laughs> years. And they're trying to discourage it because after five years they chop a tree down and make another one, which is. Uh, the tree takes about 50 years to grow, so it's not ideal. So this is us donning Wellingtons for the visit to the cave, which takes about an hour, which is knee-deep in guano, I suppose, with the stench will be a bit grim. But, uh, fascinating. These are leaf-cutting ants, although this one's carrying a flower. They take these leaves under the ground and they make compost with them. And the fungus that grows on the compost, they eat. They don't actually eat the leaves. There's a whole variety of leaves coming along. A baby sloth, very small. Three toed sloth. It's got three claws. If you look very closely, you'll see it's got three claws there for hanging on with. Hey. 
As you can see, they move very slowly. They've got a lovely face and great big eyes. You need a tripod to stop this shaking, but you can't do anything about it. You just want to lug one around with you. Here is a little red frog, or orange frog. It's absolutely tiny. If I put my thumb there, you can see just how big it is. It's about the size of my thumbnail. They must be poisonous, otherwise something would eat them very, very quickly. It's absolutely minute, this little thing, and of course very poisonous. This is our intrepid party making their way down into the bat cave. There are millions of bats in here, and it's very deep with the bat droppings. We've all been provided with Wellingtons and the light, which is rather nice. Just at the, en just at the entrance. Dozens of them, all in, all in a big cluster. Amazing. You can see them using a knife in the night. They come very, very close. Ooh, <laughs> they're wonderful. Spider. Scorpion. This is a scorpion spider. This water will be actually not mm -hmm. What's that? Yeah? Oh, this is a lot. This is a yeah, rock found from India, huh? Yeah, sir. Um, you just put a foot. Yeah. Oh, you're good. Mm, look for stalactites and They pass this quite deep in water. You can't, you can't go on further here, but you, you're chest high in water uh, before you get to the lake. And uh, we have described, decided as a group that we're going to go back. I think the decision was unanimous.
There it is. You can see its eye there, right in the middle. Here's his beady eye. It's coming. Oh Just poking in with the oar. <laughs> not seem that much bothered. So, más o menos, ¿qué tiempo tendrá? No le podría decir exactamente, pero he visto más grande que esto aquí durante la noche. Esto tiene probablemente como cuatro pies y medio. Cuatro o cinco años. Podría ser. Ese suelo. Okay, I'll just let going back from school. Cuando llegamos. Thank you.